if I had to describe it in six words, <laughs> I don't know how many words this is, don't count me on it, I would say it's the best six weeks of my life. here before welcome back you may not recognize me with this huge temple on my face but it is still me and if you haven't been here before welcome i am georgina i am a flight attendant for a mainline carrier in the u.s i have been for seven months now time flies when you're having fun <laughs> no pun intended i have been asked multiple times by multiple people um, to make a training video and I really wanted to make this video because when I first started as a flight attendant looked online I couldn't really figure out what I was doing when I was going to training. I just kind of accepted the job and then Took off. I couldn't really find any good videos. So without further ado, we don't need no long introduction Let's get into her. First thing we're going to talk about is before you go to training After you've gotten your CJO, which is your certified job offer, they'll tell you next step is training i think sometimes you'll get your training date right away but for me in particular they said it should be sometime during january i got hired end of october should be coming soon um just look out for an email keep your eyes open january comes around and i get my email and it's like you're leaving this day here's like a welcome packet but other than that i didn't know what to expect i'm gonna tell you what to expect <laughs> save your money the best advice I can give to people who are about to go to flight attendant training is save your money. That's my number one tip. My second top tip is if you know that your airline doesn't have a base where you live or it might be harder to get the base where you live, they're going to place you kind of where they need you and where they want to go. I think different airlines have different like ways they let you pick your base. Mine in particular, you could list out your top seven or the seven they had available and you would rank them. And then we give them to you based on availability, but also based off of age. So since I was 21 during training, I had a really small chance of getting the base that I picked. So they were kind of just going to give me wherever. And I also lived in a smaller town at the time. But did I pack my room up beforehand? No, because that would be smart. <laughs> One of the best advice I can give to you is start packing. You're done with six weeks of training. You get out and you're back with your family and your friends. All you want to do is see them, say hi, spend the last five days in your city or whatever. The last thing you want to do is pack. So maybe get a head start before you leave for training. If you have a few extra days before training, just kind of pack up your room and get your stuff together. Before you leave for training, I've seen a lot of people, I've seen some TikToks on TikTok about people are studying before. I would not waste your time with this. I personally didn't study at all before. I know some airlines have a test or a quiz the first day. They'll obviously let you know when it's over and the content it's over. The only thing I would suggest looking over is maybe the um, airport codes, like the different codes. You don't necessarily need them, but it is helpful to know like where you're going. I don't suggest sitting there and like studying day in and day out because everything you're gonna need to know for those tests they're gonna already tell you during class and as long as you pay attention during class like you don't need to do all this like precursed studying as long as you take notes it's not hard packing so i do have a tiktok video on what i packed i had no idea what to pack but i did show like everything i took to training with me i will link that down below i will link my tiktok right here i'm gonna kind of tell you um a basis of what you should be packing if i was gonna pack again right now for it this is what i would pack First thing is definitely comfy clothes, comfy outfits. Um, mine was during the winter and I was in Dallas, Texas. So it was really cold some days and it was really warm some days, but just make sure you have comfy clothes. We spent a lot of time in the hotel lobby studying with each other. We spent a lot of time hanging out in our room. So just like outfits for like casual hangout, like maybe if you guys go wanna go grab Mexican or something, like some food. Now my airline in particular told us to wear um, business casual clothing during our training. So I obviously bought a couple outfits of business casual. You don't need a whole bunch. I think the first two weeks we wore straight business casual. And then on the third week we switched to kind of wearing our uniforms and we would wear our uniforms someday. So maybe like a good six or seven business casual outfits would be good. And you can just switch them out, mix and match them. I know some airlines 
give you like a little jacket or something and you just wear like leggings or a jacket or something so just look out for what your airline wants but some of them do do business casual and so i just went to like tj maxx marshall's they have really good deals on stuff like that and you can just get like your basics and then like wear the pants with a different top the third thing is obviously all of your toiletries and stuff you're going to be in your hotel room and you're just going to basically be living out of it don't stress too much about this i know my airline had us a shuttle once a week on our off days to take us to target or you can always uber or i mean i'm sure there's a close enough convenience store to walk i wouldn't stress too much on like oh my gosh like what if i forget my shampoo it's not that big of a deal obviously the hotel will provide you like shampoo and stuff but something little like that you can always get when you're there so don't like stress too much on that side of things another thing to pack is a bag to take to training with you i used this one here um this is just like a business casual kind of bag that i brought every day with my stuff in it i have a video again on my tiktok of what exactly you should bring in that bag i'll add it here but basically just like pins pencils i brought my computer you can bring a laptop or something of your own but i think a lot of times my airline specifically gave me an ipad to use i just kept things in this bag that i need like chapstick especially like a water bottle you're going to be there a long time like all day extra tights if you're wearing tights tampons whatever you can keep it in the room while you're walking around but just like a business casual bag comes in handy pajamas and the basic stuff i wouldn't go crazy on like notebooks and pens and pencils um i think some people did take handwritten notes but i personally wrote notes on my macbook and then i sent them to the whole class so you might get blessed <laughs> with somebody like that in your class but i do find it easier to type on my macbook just because they are going so fast sometimes they're speaking so fast and i'm just writing it all down and then i would make an outline the easiest way for me to study for my notes was making an outline of all the material that we learned and they also did in my airline specifically reviews before the test they do have homework for you that you do at night and we would go home and we'd go through like some homework and you do kind of take notes on that too so whatever way you enjoy taking notes i had especially just come out of college and so i was super used to doing all my notes on the computer so i just brought my computer and that worked out perfectly i packed my alexa because i can use it as an alarm clock but if you have like an alarm clock you're waking up in like random hours of the morning and sometimes your phone like i don't know sometimes i sleep through my phone so like a really loud alarm clock where you actually have to get up and go turn it off to get out of bed that might be a good option <laughs> or also you could get a buddy and make sure that you're awake everyone kind of made sure everyone was on the bus in the morning but just make sure you're up in time because missing class it's kind of like you might get sent home <laughs> bring some going out clothes whether that's going to dinner or going to the bar you want to do that you do have two days off and um these are going to become like your best friends you're living with them it's kind of like zach and cody vibes you're going to be friends with these people you're going to want to go out to dinner on your days off or do something so don't bring just like comfy in the house and just business casual something i didn't know i guess i didn't read into it is that you were allowed to wear jeans on fridays in my airline so bring a pair of jeans just in case um i didn't bring any jeans and so i know some people ordered them when they got there because you can order packages to the hotel so don't worry about that like they'll get them at the front desk and they usually have it set up and you can just walk up and be like hey i ordered a package and like it works out shoes for your uniform when you start wearing your uniform you're expected to have your own shoes if you are wearing heels and you're a girl i will link my amazon storefront down below i swear by dream pairs i wear these like dream pairs heels i wear them on the plane for work now you wear them for work afterwards so if you want to make a big investment i know a lot of people like clark's but dream pairs for me worked so i'll link them down below flats for your bag i'm like 510 so i don't really wear heels and well before i moved to miami <laughs> i never wore heels so it's kind of like my feet were getting used to wearing heels and they were screaming all day and sometimes we did do a lot of walking like we did a tour of the place and stuff like that and you're walking from kind of like department to department and your feet like kill you so I do suggest bringing like moleskin if you're not used to wearing heels and also maybe like a little pair of flats for your bag just like a leather bag black pair of flats you can use those later for your in-flight shoes so that's kind of an investment too another thing is a planner i know they send you like a calendar at the beginning of the week so you, this isn't like necessary you can always look at the calendar but if you do like to write it down 
bring a little planner that might be helpful and a lot of people do it on their phones or like on their iPads so no worries like if you do it on there electronically workout clothes they have a amazing gym for my airline and I'm sure other airlines have the gyms at their training facilities but like just to kind of relax and get yourself out of it i know they had like actual fitness classes for us and me and my friend actually attended a few and it was actually funny you want to have just gym clothes just in case you want to go on a walk or something like it's good to have them with you in your bag so you can do that at any time another thing that i found really helpful to get before you go is just a doordash membership um this is like not sponsored but i seriously swear by a doordash membership i still have it to this day as a flight attendant it's like ten dollars a month and it takes away all the taxes and delivery fees you don't really doordash a whole bunch but like if you don't like the food they serve or it's like late at night and you want a snack or like you just need like an extra pair of tights for the next day because you just have a hole in them DoorDash comes in so handy and they deliver to your room it saved me so much money like ten dollars for a month and I probably DoorDash like 15 times I think I saved probably like a hundred dollars with my DoorDash membership and I think the first month is like free so if you just want to like get it and then cancel it feel free that's everything that I would pack and bring with me let's go to the day of leaving <laughs> So you are going to get a flight to wherever unless you choose to drive because you live nearby but they're going to fly you out basically to the training the morning of. So it's going to be one of the longest days of your life. I think still to this day this might be the longest day of my life. I got up and I went to the airport and I got on the plane. I actually got upgraded to first class. It was like ah, this was my first time in first class. I don't expect that but you might. It gave me a glass cup. I've never drank out of a glass cup on a plane before. I was like okay we're getting up there <laughs> now i drink out of glass cup on a plane every single day but that was a first for me <laughs> you do probably want to pack like a granola bar or something just in case because you don't really like control when you're fed they like tell you when you're getting fed um talk to your flight attendants on the plane let them know that you're going to training maybe they can give you some advice like be friendly you have to dress in business casual obviously on the plane because you're going to get off and you're going to be at training and you're going to be in your business casual attire but be nice be respectable, be polite. Um, there probably is people watching you. Um, the flight attendants do have the power to know that you are going to training even if you don't tell them. So maybe like if you cause a scene, that probably won't be a good thing. <laughs> well, feel free to sleep, but it's nothing like crazy like that. But like, just know that there's people around you all the time. There's other trainees, someone you might be sitting next to on the plane, might also be going to training. So make friends. Making friends is a huge thing. I actually met my roommate when I got off the plane. As soon as I got off the plane, she was coming from Charlotte. I was coming from Atlanta. So we got off the plane. We're waiting for the bus. I'm standing next to her. Like, it's so crazy to think because, like, at the time, I did not know that we were going to live together. This is my roommate. <laughs> How do you know when people are I don't think they go bad. It's like processed meat. We get off the plane and you kind of all stand around. You're with a group of people. You know who's going to training. They all just look like they're going to training. Like, what, like young person it's dressed like this the first day is probably the best day to do it they do split you up into three groups so that is kind of sad because you might get <laughs> separated from your friends but these people are going to be people you might be roommates with people you are going to be with for six weeks people you're going to hang out with these are going to be your study groups these are going to be people that if you get the job in the future you're going to fly with these are going to be people at your base like it's i didn't really realize how important it was at the time but at least five of these people are coming to my wedding like not that i have a boyfriend or a gang here anytime soon but in the future these people will be at my wedding so close now like we live together like we experience this together it's like nobody really understands what it's like until you're there and so you wake up together every morning you eat together when you get off just literally be yourself and start making friends like hi how are you like everyone's open to making friends because you're all in the same situation nobody really knows any people already unless they were like in the interview together and kept in touch or have been in, like those facebook groups i think there's a few facebook groups that you can join that it's like 2305 or like a 2306 or like something like that and you can join the group of what class you're going to be in for flight attendant trainees and you can talk i didn't know about that till i got there so a lot of people didn't know each other and i was like oh they're like are you in the facebook group no that is something that you can do beforehand is get the facebook group um just look there's all so many facebook groups um, that is going to be the longest day i think you're going to get fitted that day for your uniforms um when you're getting fitted for your uniforms just relax and let them take the wheel <laughs> let them take the wheel they're gonna fit you really really big the things are gonna be really big and you can tailor them in the end but don't stress out i was really stressed out because they were fitting me in like size 12 and i'm usually like an a and everything was so big and everything looked horrendous but like you could power through it's gonna be better in the end <laughs> um 
they do want your hair a certain way you have to wear a certain size earrings um your nails have to be a certain length and like a certain color so make sure to read the packet before and follow those instructions because they do do a check on like everything that day kind of like tattoos and stuff like that depending on your airline just make sure you read through and kind of know like what you're gonna want to look like that's all i have to say about the first day you kind of put your stuff down you meet everyone it's a long day it's a long process there's a lot going on and then you finally go home and get some sleep do prioritize your sleep first of all now we're gonna move on to the section during training <laughs> You do have two days off a week. These are not enough days to go, like not enough time to go home. I did have a few people have visitors, but they obviously can't stay in your room. So you can arrange that, but your days off are different every week and they are usually a weekday. They don't really give you the weekends off. So um, it just kind of depends, but I know a lot of people came and they're like, oh, I was gonna go home. And then it's kind of like, oh, I couldn't. So don't expect that you're gonna be able to go home. Don't really expect that you're gonna be able to have visitors if you have them like perfect but kind of expect for the six weeks to be like on your own by yourself and just kind of like take it with a grain of salt and use it as a time to like really focus on yourself during training i actually made a get ready with me every single morning not every single morning but like at least once a week of like it says like day two and you can find it on my tiktok every morning i woke up and i would get ready and i would kind of talk about training and like how it went the day before and like what we were doing um so you can kind of see what was going on there but a couple of tips i have for like during training is study groups for sure you can have homework at night so we all kind of sat in the lobby in groups and we'd have our groups and we'd talk about stuff we'd make flashcards we'd share the flashcards and it just helps you if you don't understand something you have someone to explain it to you like outside of your teacher and like outside of the class i can't recommend enough getting enough sleep there's a lot of times the next morning i was like that is when i really started drinking coffee i would drink any coffee i would drink black hot coffee and i am like a venti shaken espresso brown sugar girl but i would drink anything because it's so exhausting you have to prioritize yourself you have to prioritize your sleep because sometimes i'd be doing homework up until 2 a.m and i gotta wake up at for 6 a.m for class like you have to put yourself first and you do really have to do time control on this stuff. Getting ahead, I do recommend sometimes, but not too far ahead because you're gonna go into things that we haven't even spoken about, but it is good to like get the homework done and get it going. Always asking for help, your professors or whatever you call them, your teachers, your trainers, they're there for you. A lot of them were flight attendants before, so that's gonna be your, your best bet, um, person to ask. You can always wait after class, you can always message them, anything. Just make sure, like don't be afraid to ask them like, hey, like I don't understand this or confine in one of your classmates. Hey, I don't understand this. It's always better to like understand, especially with like a test or a quiz, than don't understand at all. For how my airline worked, and I think a lot of airlines, is you had to get a 90 on each quiz. And if you didn't get a 90, you had to retake it and you only got two retakes out of the whole class time. And I think there was like 16 or 14 tests or something like that. So the tests are really important and you really have to study hard, but like don't stress out and lose sleep about it. Just make sure you're ready. Everything that you need, they're gonna say in class. Like you don't need to do anything like extra. Just make sure you pay attention to your homework, pay attention during class and keep up. That is really all the advice I have. Have fun, it is seriously the best six weeks of my life. I enjoyed every second of it. Like there's not a thing I would change. I had so much fun. Um, just keep on top of things, keep everything together. Don't be nervous and honestly be so excited. If I could go back and do it all over again, I know there's a lot of people that are like, oh my God, I would never do that again. My camera died, but I am back. <laughs> that is really all the tips I have for you today. Just please, please, please have fun. Please be yourself, please make friends. You have a blast. And I'm so excited for you. And then like message me if you get based in Miami because we can hang out. My Instagram is right here. If you have any questions, you can also email me. I'll put my email right here. I was finding my email better than my DMs because sometimes my DMs get mixed up. But I can always see my emails because I have them on like constant flow. Have so much fun. Let me know if you need anything. Love y'all. I don't know why you'd be watching this if you haven't already gotten the job. But if you just wanted some like information on the video, flight attendant applications are open right now for American, Alaska, and I think Southwest. I'll have to check that for sure. But I know American and Alaska are open right now. So if you're interested in applying, go, go, go. Just look up on their website, American, Alaska, whatever, flight attendant application. They'll be open and then you can be just like me. Mm -hmm.